With Poe's short stories, you can escape from the real world with just a few pages as Poe develops the genres of the gothic, science fiction and detective fiction. As you can see from these illustrations, his work focuses on themes of mystery and the macabre, he experiments with horror in its many different guises and its effect on human psychology. Now, fans of the gothic genre will no doubt be familiar with Edgar Allan Poe, and many may recognise his face, especially that moustache. This portrait of Poe is by Brighton-born artist Aubrey Beardsley. It was his very distinctive take on the gothic that made Poe's name synonymous with gothic literature. I've chosen to share with you tales of mystery and imagination. Iterations of tales of mystery and imagination were in circulation towards the end of Poe's lifetime in the mid-19th century, and he borrowed figures like the disgraced protagonist or the evil doppelganger from early gothic tales and weaved these familiar tropes into his own stories. For example, Poe's narrator in The Black Cat succumbs to alcoholism and slips into episodes of psychosis, and in his short story William Wilson we follow the life of a man haunted by his seemingly identical other. The British Library holds a wonderful collection of illustrated editions from Poe from all over the world, showing his enduring influence beyond the United States. I love Irish illustrator Harry Clarke's black and white illustrations from this 1919 publication. Clarke's detailed and contorted images of the characters draw in the reader and unsettle them just as much as Poe's words. I find his representation of the protagonist in the Telltale Heart particularly chilling. You can almost feel his distress and fear through the shape of his body and his eyes look straight through you from the page. English book illustrator Arthur Rackham, known for his artwork for The Wind in the Willows and Alice in Wonderland, lets his illustrations take a darker turn as he accompanies Poe's work in this 1935 publication. His colour representations of Poe's stories transport the reader into a number of dreamlike or rather nightmarish and unsettling scenes. Poe was a champion of the short story as a form, which was an important genre in American literary history. Now, at the beginning of the 19th century, many short stories in America came about as a result of the growing production of magazines, and indeed many of the tales that appear in Tales of Mystery and Imagination initially appeared in literary magazines before being collated into this collection. Now famous titles like The Fall of the House of Usher was initially published in 1839 in Burton's Gentleman's Magazine, while The Pit and the Pendulum was first printed in a Christmas annual in 1843. The collection also contains other well-known tales such as The Mask of the Red Death and one of my favourites, The Telltale Heart. Now although Poe was a US writer, he had a real impact on the British Gothic. His influence surpassed the shores of America, providing inspiration for the likes of Robert Louis Stevenson and Oscar Wilde and even Angela Carter right up into the 20th century. Carter even wrote the 1982 short story The Cabinet of Edgar Allan Poe about him, which you can see more of on the Discovering Literature website. And the Argentinian short story writer Jorge Luis Borges was also a champion of Poe's. So even if just for half an hour, I hope you'll find a Poe short story to occupy your imagination over the coming weeks.